Hey y'all, welcome back to Irix Guys Adventures channel, youtube.com forward slash Irix Guy. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already and share this video and any of my videos with others. Thanks for watching and y'all have a good day. Hey y'all, Irix Guy here and I wanted to provide some advice for skiers if you've never skied before. Now this video is a little bit different than what you'll find out there already from the standpoint that this is taking it to the next level from the perspective that you don't even know what to do. So you know you want to ski. You know, maybe you know how to book that airplane ticket. Maybe you know how to uh, book whatever transportation to get to and from that ski resort. But what do you do when it comes to booking the actual activities? Because even if you go to some of the more popular ski resort websites, for someone that's never skied, it's very daunting. There's a lot more than simply saying, okay, I want to ski on this day. And, you know, here's, you know, and it's, it's a done deal. It's not that simple. Because when you're dealing with skiing, there's a lot of factors that come into play. Now, one thing, the most obvious thing is to make sure that you have the equipment necessary when you are at that ski destination. Because you're going to have to stay warm. You're going to have to stay dry. And you can check out my other video, How to Dress for snowboarding or snow skiing and I've got a lot of pointers in there. But the next thing, assuming you already have your equipment, your clothing rather, if you're not someone that lives in close proximity to a ski resort, it may not be in your best interest to purchase the equipment. Because the equipment for skiing, you got to have the poles, you got to have the skis, you got to have the boots, you got to have all that gear. And it may be a better option for you to just rent the gear when you go on these ski trips. So we're going to go with this video from the perspective of you're an out-of-state skier or out-of-country skier or whatever the case may be. It's not conveniently located right down the street from you. So what all do you need to do to prepare for this ski trip? So number one, as we mentioned, make sure that you have proper clothing. Check out my video. That's not something I would rent. I would buy my clothing because it's something that you can reuse unless your body size changes drastically between the trips. It's something that you can reuse for future ski trips. So don't look at it as, uh, as oh, I've spent this money and I'm never going to get it back. Just buy the stuff, and sure, you may not have the next trip you go on. It, you know, Fashions may change or whatever, but for the most part, a jacket's a jacket, a pair of waterproof pants is a pair of waterproof pants. So whether you're out there in something from the current year or a few years ago, people probably won't even notice, and even if they do, they probably won't even care. Skiing people don't tend to be snobby. So get your, uh, you know, get your clothing and keep it. Book your airplane ticket or whatever transportation to and from. Now what I would do, I would research whatever ski resort you're going to by way of the website, but I would call if I had questions. Because there's going to be a few things you're going to need. You're going to need, number one, the equipment rental. So check to see how they do it, because ultimately, if you're skiing, you're going to need the skis, you're going to need the boots, and you're going to need the, um, the poles and a helmet, if you choose to wear a helmet. So be sure that when you book that, that you're getting all that equipment. Now, not only when you get the equipment, that's not it. There's more. you got to have a lift ticket. Now, the lift ticket is what enables you to get up and down that mountain. So when you're going to the top to ski down, you've got to have a ticket. And most, most ski resorts, what they'll do, they'll give you a little card and you put it in a pocket. And then when you walk through the, uh, the, the line to get on the chairlift or the gondola or whatever, it'll recognize you have that card and it'll let you on. So you've got to have your lift ticket. Now the other thing, if you've never skied before, and if you're watching this video, you've probably never skied before. You skied so long ago that you forgot all about it. You're probably going to want to get lessons. Now, what I would recommend personally, I would recommend an all-day lesson. Because if you go out there and you ski all day, you're going to get the basic set of knowledge necessary to enable you to further advance at your own pace. So I would definitely get one full day of ski lessons. And then after that, you know, you're going to want to ski for a few days after that. And if you don't want to get more than one day of lessons, one day may be enough for many. For most people, it may be enough. It'll give you the basics to where you can get out there and you can perfect your own skills. 
Because ultimately, it's really not that hard. I mean, there's some basic skills you got to know, and that's the snow plow, you know, how to, how to slow down and then how to turn. And once you get that, you can, uh, you can pretty much uh, master in your own mind with trial and error, you can pretty much figure it out. At least I was able to. So that's, that's what you're going to want to do. So the, you know, the first day, do the, do the lessons. And then figure out how many days of, uh, of skiing you want to do on your own. And, and for those days, obviously, you'll need to have that ski equipment. And you'll need to have the, uh, the lift ticket as well. So be sure you've got all that book because there's nothing more, there are a few things more frustrating than going to a ski resort for the first time and realizing that, you know, you didn't book the equipment or you didn't book the lift ticket and then having to go in and get all of that extra stuff to make your, uh, to make your day on the ski slopes possible. So, yeah, it's, it's, it's not really that complicated, but if it's the first time you've done it, it's something that, that you will probably have a lot of questions. And I hope this video was of value. Uh, drop me a line if you have any questions. I'll try my best to answer. I'm not an expert skier by any means, but I do have the knowledge necessary to, to go to a ski resort and know what to book. And brings up another point. You need to have some ski goggles. Now, you can find some within the link within this video's description, but my personal recommendation would be to go to that ski resort and to try on whatever types of goggles they may have because it's going to, you're going to want something that's comfortable and something, it, they're, they're functional because they block the glare off of the snow. Obviously, you can't wear sunglasses while you're skiing, or you could, it just wouldn't be optimal. So you want to wear some ski goggles that are comfortable, that shouldn't fog up, and ultimately are, are affordably priced. So, you know, it's one of those things like anything else. You can get in at a at a at an entry level price or you can spend a bunch of money on them i would get those at the ski resort i would wait to get to the ski resort to get the goggles other than that you know be sure uh, be sure to check out my video about how to dress for snowboarding or snow skiing and most importantly have a good time you know don't be intimidated there's a lot of stuff involved with it if you've never done it before but once you do it for the first time then you will know and you'll be hooked. So thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe. YouTube.com forward slash IRIXGAF. And be sure to check out all my snow skiing and snowboarding videos and share this video and any of my videos with others. Thanks for watching and y'all have a good day.